Other question. Um, I was gonna ask if Lloyd Irvin ever played like Atomic Dog during like class or something. Yeah. <laughs> that's a little get into is whatever music comes on, whether he's playing it, well, he rarely plays it, but if somebody mm-hmm. on shuffle or plays one of his songs, mm-hmm. it will literally shape how the class is going mm-hmm. at the end. If you play like it's it's based on like when Ronnie Rich the Box came out. Mm-hmm. If you play that in class, this is a turned up class. He will sit you on the bleachers if you're not hype. Mm. Like if you're rolling lazy or whatever, yeah. you're on the, you on the side watching. I like that. So he's like, you got to match the energy. If he plays something like that, mm-hmm. if you play explosive <laughs> or any like old Dr. Dre mm-hmm. or even the Meek Mill remix, yeah, the yeah, Who yeah. Kill Him, anything with some Dr. Dre or like some old That's school cool. or a Tommy Dog is, it's you got to You have to match the energy because mm-hmm. it's gonna get his energy up. And with Master Lloyd, like, don't get my energy up if you're not going to have yours up. Because now I'm the hype on the side. Now Master Lloyd will come out and roll and then he get injured or something. And he's like, why y'all get me hype for no reason? So, like, a lot of our classes are, like, music for us at the at the gym is a very big, like, training with no music. It's a very boring. The yeah. class feels like it's four hours. Mm-hmm. You play music, we're drilling. We may be having the hardest class of the year, but the energy, we're hype. Mm. The people on the side that aren't working out hype. The people yeah. in the bleachers hype. Everyone, everyone is hype, and it just brings energy. If everyone's hype, you don't want to be the guy that that breaks mm-hmm. or, or can't continue. Even when you get hurt, you don't want to be the guy sitting on the side. Mm-hmm. So that the music. So like there's, and I could put together a playlist of every song would make us have like a crazy class. Mm-hmm. You play some DMX, some old school mm-hmm. Dr. Dre. Anything like that. You play certain go-go songs. We're from, mm-hmm. we're from yeah, DMV. Yeah, you play certain go-go songs. It's going to have the energy up. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of how it is, especially in Master Lloyd's class. That's dope. Yeah, I like that. Um, my next question will be, where where is your place of peace? I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess the, the gym, but it, I'm going to leave it up to you. Um, I would say the gym, but it's for me, it's less about location, more about who I'm around. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot of people on the team, like the people I came up with, some of them still train, some of them don't. Mm-hmm. But when we all get together, it's it's like, that's the most peaceful time for me. Like, it'll be dudes I came up with that haven't trained in five, six years, but we still keep in contact, and some of us still train. Mm-hmm. We'll go out to eat. That's, that's going down one of the best moments of the year. We'll go, same group, we'll go out to like the Monument in DC at night. Mm. Like at 3, 4 a.m. and just be on scooters or just at like the memorial fountain just talking. Mm -hmm. Just reflecting on stuff, talking about our goals, talking about what we got going on. Those for me, like those moments where everything's kind of slowed down, Mm -hmm. I would say is peace. I could be at the gym as well. For me, the way I, if it's competition season, there's no peace in my mind. I get crazy. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't really consider with how I approach training that as peace. I consider it like a, a break from reality mm-hmm. because when I'm on the mat, I don't have time to be thinking about anything that exists outside the mat doesn't come with me on the mat. Mm-hmm. I can't be thinking about money or school or what I'm doing for this or what I need to get my need to go get my tags renewed. On my, none of that matters <laughs> yeah. when I'm on the mat. So I would say it's a pause like on life and it lets you, it kind of teaches you about how to focus on like compartmentalize things and focus mm-hmm. on certain things at a time. Mm-hmm. You can't come into like you can't go into work mad about how you're training with you gonna mess up work. Correct. You can't come into training thinking about bad work day, you're gonna mess up training and then mm-hmm. needs you putting yourself in that negative kind of mind state. So it teaches you that. I think jujitsu teaches you that. And I would say but place of peace is like more who I'm with. Like the people I came up with bring the most peace. Like my bro Ross, Carlo they don't even train anymore, but those are like Tijon, Noah, like those are like my bros. Like mm-hmm. when we go out, we went to Fogo. We were at Fogo for four hours. Everybody else in that tables are moving away from us because we're so loud and we're just having a, like a great time. Mm-hmm. So things like that for me are are peace. Any any person I could be around or a place I could be that kind of helps me slow down and I'm not thinking about anything outside of this. Like where you're here, you're not. I'm not distracted. I'm not anything like that. I'm not looking at my phone. Where I'm focused on the, the environment I'm in, the people yeah. I'm with. That that for me is peace. So you live in like the moment kind. Of. Yeah, it, it's a mix of both. Cause then when we're it, together, of course, we're a lot of times we're reminiscing, we're bringing up old jokes, inside mm-hmm. jokes, things from our childhood. Hey, you remember this person I ran to him the other day, mm-hmm. talking stuff like that. But 
not being it, not anything that can make me not focus on what's going on either in the world as a whole because it's crazy. This yeah, it's getting it's crazy stuff going on at all times for like mm-hmm. the past five six years. It's been like back to back craziness. Mm-hmm. I agree. With anything that. that can kind of make me forget about that mm-hmm. or that make that feel less important because I'm in this moment. I'm I'm happy. I'm with people that don't bring any negative energy. They don't bring make me feel any type of way. It's nothing but good positive energy like you can come into this with the having the worst time the worst month of your life but if you're in this group they're going to have you leaving feeling like the best you ever felt I like that. so that that for me is peace hmm. now uh talking about like the world going crazy and stuff like that so we'll talk about covid and how that affected your like training or if it did affect your training at all because i know um where you where you guys are it's kind of like locked down kind of still it's weird. Certain spots are still like the kids went back to school. They still gotta wear their masks, mm-hmm. even though you don't have to in the airport. We were probably one of the last spots to be able to even walk around outside with the mask off and go in the stores. Mm-hmm. So it it definitely had an effect. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you want me to get into that now, but when COVID hit, it was like for me, I didn't realize how much I was doing. Until COVID hit, because for me, my lifestyle, what I was doing was normal. Mm-hmm. School, train, teach the kids, teach kids classes, train again, mm-hmm. go back up, finish homework. Like, that having no time to relax or anything, that was, like, normal for me. Mm-hmm. So when COVID hit, it was weird, because I felt like I was just getting bad at jujitsu because I was like, I'm not, I haven't done anything today. I'm just mm-hmm. in the house. I've never, like, I was like, this is the first time I've ever been in the house all day. Yeah. Like, it just doesn't happen. Even when I had my appendix surgery, I was at the gym the same day, mm. just on the side trying to walk on the treadmill. Like, I'm not used to being in the house. So, at first, it was like a shock. But after that, for like the first month, it was like vacation for me, so it was relaxing. Like, I was like, oh, I can kind of, I can start thinking about things I never had a chance to think about, doing instructionals or mm. teaching or what I wanted to do in jiu-jitsu outside of my personal competitive like achievements and goals so it kind of allowed me to think about stuff like that Mm -hmm. and I would say that was a positive of course like not being able to train for me it was 2019 I ended up I was injured injured Mm -hmm. injured couldn't compete well losing like at big events things I'm not able to train right I'm not healthy I'm forcing myself to go compete Mm -hmm. so after ADCC I just sat down no it was after Spider Korea I just kind of sat down. I was like, I need to heal up, mm-hmm. heal my body, heal my mind, kind of hit the reset. And I did that coming to 2020, feeling the best I ever felt. Mm-hmm. A week before Pans, they canceled it. So I'm like, that hurt. Yeah. Then going in like, dang, are we going to miss Worlds too? Mm-hmm. Once that hit, I was like, okay, this is different. For me, I had missed the Worlds previous already. Mm-hmm. So I hadn't done any majors since 2019 Pans where I lose like a... I get a bad call in the finals and end up losing. I'm like, that's my last Ivy Digi like mm-hmm. major tournament. So that was that was kind of like a feeling like, dang, I'm missing years here. You mm-hmm. start you have like I guess you kinda had those thoughts where I'm at peace, I'm kinda chilling, I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. I've never been able to kind of sit down and relax like this before. And then on the other hand, I'm like, man, I'm missing out on years. Like I don't have yeah. I got goals, I'm trying to rack these accomplishments up, trying to hit these goals and things, and I'm, I'm losing time here. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of that. Eventually, I think about two months in, I started doing some stuff with Master Lloyd, like some video, like breaking down videos and mm-hmm. doing something that kind of made me feel busy and kind of had me back thinking about jiu-jitsu and breaking down my matches and mm-hmm. showing people like I was doing these things and showing my mindset before, during, and after certain matches. So that had me thinking about jiu-jitsu again. Then... We started doing Zoom classes with our kids, Mm -hmm. which was good because I'm used to seeing these kids every day. So at least having them on the computer, we were doing like it kind of tested me as far as coming up, me and and the other instructors at the gym coming up with how to keep these kids moving forward in Mm jujitsu online. It's a a sport that's so physical and in person. Mm -hmm. We're doing making grappling dummies out of pillows in your house and using doing neon bellies on your your pillow and mm-hmm. doing all these at home exercises and things that they didn't know were going to help when we ever we get that so we were doing that so i kind of had purpose at that point i was doing videos for other gyms like mm-hmm. i was doing video appearances on other gym zoom classes mm-hmm. and 
sending them workout tapes and doing stuff like that. I was working with like random companies that wanted me to do photo shoots and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And at that time, it was like if you left your house, you felt like a criminal. <laughs> so I'm driving 40 minutes down like my boy Ross and Carlos' house. Yeah.